some people worry that this means that they have to be against science. 有啲人就好担心，我哋真系要同科学敌对。The answer is no. 答案系否定嘅。We think science is wonderful. 我哋觉得科学其实系好正嘅。We have many scientists working for us. 我哋机构都请咗好多科学家。Many of them were once evolutionists. 佢哋好多之前都系无神论者。But the sort of science that has given us all the benefits of modern life. 嗰種俾我哋有現代生活好處嘅科學 ，is based on investigating how the world works， 以研究世界點樣運作為基礎。For example, the law of gravity， 例如萬有引力嘅定律。If I tell you when I let this go， 如果話俾你聽，我而家鬆開手 ，how quickly it will accelerate， 個加速率有幾快咧 ？If you don't believe me， 如果你唔相信我。You can check it out for yourself. 你可以自己试一试啊。And you can do that again and again. 你可以重复又重复咁试啊。But if I tell you that 150 million years ago some reptiles turned into birds， 如果我话俾你听，喺一亿五千万年前，有啲爬虫类变成咗雀仔。Or if I tell you that 6,000 years ago God made separate groups of birds and reptiles， 又或者我话俾你听，喺六千年前。神分別創造咗唔同種類嘅雀仔同埋爬蟲類。There is no experiment you can do. 係冇任何實驗可以做嘅。To decide which of those ideas is right or wrong. 去決定頭先邊一個講法係啱定係錯。You can't watch the past happening. 我哋唔可以睇住過去嘅事係點樣發生。And you can't make it happen again. 同埋你唔可以令佢再次發生。Science can still be used to investigate the past. 科学仍然可以用嚟研究过去。But it's a different sort of science. 但系呢一种系另一种嘅科学。We can call it historical science. 我哋叫佢做历史性嘅科学。It means you collect all of the facts together. 我哋将所有嘅证据搜集埋一齐。And then you try to work out which story fits the facts. 我哋尝试揾出边一个讲法最符合呢啲嘅证据。Like a detective trying to solve a murder, 好似一个侦探尝试破解一宗谋杀案一样。But I'm sure you know of times when they've put the wrong person in jail. 我相信你哋都有听过捉错一个人去坐监。Because all the facts seem to point in one direction. 因为所有证据好似指向同一个方向。But there was actually another story that fitted the same facts even better. 但事实上，另外有一个更好嘅讲法。係更加符合呢啲證據。You see, facts don't speak for themselves. 要知道，證據係唔會為自己講嘢嘅。They have to be interpreted. 係需要被人去解釋嘅。If you look at these facts, 所以如果我哋睇呢啲事實 ，the facts are all these fossils buried in layers of rock laid down by water. 事實就係水將呢啲化石埋藏喺啲岩層裏邊。Today, people understand that through a story of a little bit of water and a lot of time。今日嘅人透過一個講法，就係話用好少嘅水同埋大量嘅時間就嚟理解呢一個現象嘅發生。Whereas the Bible talks about a lot of water and a little bit of time。但係聖經就講。用好多嘅水，好少嘅时间就会发生。And we'll talk more about that in the second session. 我哋会喺第二节嘅时候同大家讲更多。I just want to show you something that Darwin didn't know. 我想俾啲嘢大家睇，系达尔文唔知道嘅。You see, Darwin. His theory had to do with how one little cell, like a bacteria, became everything else. 你哋都知道啦，达尔文嘅理论就系用一个好似细菌咁细嘅细胞嚟变成所有嘅嘢。And later today, I'll explain about natural selection. 之后嘅时间，我会解释乜嘢系自然选择。That natural selection is a fact. 自然选择系一个事实。But it's not building things up to become more complicated. 但系唔系将一样嘢变得更加复杂
But in any case, to have natural selection, 但系如果要有自然选择的话 ，you need to have something that can make a copy of itself. 你就要有一样嘢可以自己复制自己。And in Darwin's day, if you look down at a simple organism, a single cell， 喺达尔文时代，当佢睇一个最简单嘅生物，就系、是、一个单细胞。It looked very simple. 佢睇落去真系好简单。Just a blob of jelly, 好似一嚿啫喱咁。But with today's modern science, 但透过现代嘅科学 ，we have found that it is a world of amazing technology. 我哋会发现里面系一个奇妙科技嘅世界。And it's technology which is controlled by programs like computer programs. 呢啲科技。系用一啲好似电脑嘅程式嚟控制嘅。So let's look at what Darwin didn't know about the cell。等我哋嚟睇下达尔文唔知道关于细胞里边嘅事。And we'll we'll let a famous evolutionist tell us。我哋会让一个知名嘅进化论者同我哋讲。Professor Paul Davies。佢系 Paul Davies 教授。He says this。佢咁样讲，大部分细胞的运作最贴切，不是用物件。硬件来形容，而是用信息或软件来形容。母老的原子如何能自发地给自己写出一套软件来 ？What's his answer？ 佢嘅答案系咩咧？佢嘅答案系冇人知道。But why does nobody know？ 咁点解冇人会知道咧 ？You see, when you see that answer, nobody knows。当你睇到冇人知道呢个答案嘅时候。You might be thinking to yourself, maybe next year they will know. 你可能会自己谂，可能佢哋下年会知道咧。But this is the reason they don't know. 但系呢个就系佢哋唔知道嘅原因。没有一条已知的物理定律可以从零创造出成为信息。In other words, that's the problem for evolution. 换句话嚟讲，呢、这个就系进化论嘅问题。In order to explain living things, 我哋要解释生物。You have to have blind faith. 你要有盲目嘅信心。That you will discover a new law. 你会发现一个新嘅定律。That says how information and programs can make themselves. 就系信息同程式系点样可以自制出嚟。Because that's what life is all about: programmed machinery and information. 因为生命就系围绕住程式、机械。同埋信息。You can program a machine to program another machine。你可以为一部机设计一个程式，去为另一部机设计另一个程式。And that program can program the next machine。呢个程式可以为另一部机设计程式、哦。But the first program has to start in a mind。但系第一个程式要由一个意念而嚟。So when we see programmed machinery of life， 所以当我哋睇生命嘅程式设计。It has to reflect an incredible mind. 就会反映出一个令人难以置信嘅头脑。I want to show you just one of the many thousands of little machines inside cells. 我想俾大家睇细胞里面几千个细小机器嘅其中一个。Now, this machine I'm going to show you. 而家我会俾大家睇一个机器。On a video. 喺个影片里边。Is called Kinesin. 系叫做 Kinesin。Kinesin is like someone who takes things on their back and carries them around the cell。佢就好似孭住一啲嘢喺个背脊度，喺个细胞里边行来行去。And you will see this machine like a robot walking。你会睇到呢个机器好似个机械人咁行路。And when you see that。So that you know how small it is. 当你睇到，就知道佢有几细。It takes 125,000 steps to make one millimeter. 佢要行十二万五千步，先至可以行到一毫米嘅距离。This is one millimeter. 咁样就系一毫米。So there's 125,000 steps. 咁亦都系十二万五千步。Let's have a look at it. 等我哋一齐嚟睇睇。Here it is walking. 而家佢就行紧啦
and on its back, it's carrying a bag of protein. 喺佢嘅背脊就孭住一袋嘅蛋白质。And it's going to drop that load off at a predestined point, at a pre-programmed point. 佢就会将嗰袋蛋白质喺一个预定嘅地方里边摆低。And there are lots of these little machines walking around. 有好多呢啲细小嘅机器喺度行来行去。And these little marks here 喺呢度有好多细小嘅记号。Are like postcodes， 好似邮政编号。Like little addresses， 好似小小嘅地址。That tell it where to drop it off， 话俾佢听喺边度要抌低。So what is this machine made of？ 咁呢个机器系由乜嘢组成咧？ Nothing more complicated than simple egg white. 只系一啲蛋白咁简单嘅嘢啫。It's just like this computer is made of plastic and copper. 就好似呢个电脑系由塑胶同埋铜所组成。But plastic and copper will never make a computer. 但系塑胶同埋铜系唔会自己变成一部电脑。You have to have intelligence. 你要有智慧嘅参与。Let's have another look. 等我哋再嚟睇多次。And that's only one of the many machines in our cell. 呢个只系我哋细胞里边好多机器嘅其中一个